Hey guys, so as you see here, I'm making my stirrup, my stirrup or my caging for my um, for my footing. This tie that I'm doing right now, called full foot tie. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna wrap that around. good where it is now so now we're gonna do our four foot tie just going like this start over like this we go over come over like that so just as easy as that guys so see I put the, the pressure in the back of it I squeeze it down and I twist that way I kind of draw the tension onto my uh, my wire we get everything locked in place. I remember back in the days, I used to work on highway, highways and stuff. I used to do a lot of steel work. I used to make bridges, stuff like that. A lot of tying and stuff. Tighten it up. I call fold for this is more stronger than the regular straight cross tie nut here to can all do. So again, lock this first one on like that. Cross, and you go over just like that. I call it four foot. If you guys have a different name for this style, what, what's the name that you know it as? Leave a comment down in the bottom there. And we flip it. Now we're gonna tie the other side. Pour it the concrete inside. We're using 6,000 psi concrete, and I'm adding a bit of. Um, Portland cement just to strengthen it a little bit because I, I don't really like to use those pre um, bag cement I mean um, bag concrete but um, yeah so that's the concrete that I'm using but I'm adding Portland cement just to help to strengthen it a little bit okay so we had a bit of this Portland cement here just to help um, to strengthen it a little bit make sure our foot is um, solid and ready for the post Okay guys, so this is my cage for my footing. Now we're gonna install it. I'm gonna put it inside of my footing here. That's three feet by three feet by 16 inches deep. It's a double cage and as you see it's ready, nice and ready to install. So always put a piece of stone. Put a stone before you put you don't want to rest your cage in right under the dirt in place and all this one is reason off of the ground a little bit so we have it installed now now we're ready for concrete <laughs> So we're gonna take some measurements. Okay guys, so right now I'm preparing to install my post. You wanna have your footing sit here for at least four weeks. I have my sit here to four to five weeks before I install my footing, before I install my post onto it. So you want the concrete to cure properly before you go ahead and install your structural post. She's plumb where she is. Bottom of this one, I'm gonna knock it a little bit like this. Go in a little bit. Right here, here she's plumb. So we, need to, we need to get a piece of rebar and tighten here. So we're just gonna put a piece of rebar through here like this. Tighten this 
anymore for now. I'm just gonna leave this right where it is. I'm gonna put a laser and then I'm gonna put a few screws in here. That way we know it's not moving, going anywhere. Beautiful. This is a, this is a grabber screw for the LVL. Make sure you go to and and secure the LVL properly. That's good. We're gonna just go through and screw in a whole bunch of them in there, right along the entire thing. Good. Okay, guys, as you see here, I'm just uh, putting my my post together. I just took it out of the box. Came with two bolts. I'm gonna set them vice versa. One this way, one that way. These are the bolts that are uh, gonna use the strength of the house. and put it in place. I'm gonna put this right here. Just need to just plumb it up, plumb it up now. So it's plumb nice and straight. It's hundred percent plumb now. Just gonna tighten it up a little bit more. Some screws. The ones that I have is a little bit too short. I want to get some longer ones. So I'm just going to leave that out until later on. But all you got to do is get a washer and some screws there to hold that in place. Now you see I plumb it this way and I plumb it this way. That way we know it nice and straight. I already run my laser. So we have a mark at the floor and we have a mark up here. So that we have everything nice in line. Go all the way down. So here we already installed this one here and then we already installed this one over here we have one more down there we still have three more left to go this is a long span guy i want to make sure this is a long span guys i to make sure it's secured properly my engineer told me that i only need one in the middle and one at and both ends but i decided i'm just gonna throw in some extra one in there for ex for for extra strength I'm gonna get it. So what I'm gonna do now, 
I'm just going to take the measurement just like so. It's one inches. This post is a little different than that one, so we're just going to work for the one that is one inches. Okay guys, so now we're going to install our screw. As you see, this is a grabber screw that I'm using, designed for this application for um, LVL. Trying to get the focus here. This is the screw. It's a, it's a very strong screw. This is the screw that we're going to screw into our LVL. So as you see, I put a washer over it as well. Now we're just going to screw this in place. Keep on going and screw all of the six posts that we have here. Okay, so earlier we secured the top of four posts. Now we're gonna secure the bottom with some. We're gonna finish. We're gonna screw it on with some top and screw. This is what we're gonna use to secure our, our post, the foot of it. We already secured the top. Now we're just gonna drill it in place. First, we make pile up. Good. These are some two and a half inch crew. Beautiful. So we're gonna put a washer over it first. We're gonna put our screw. 